Good evening, I'm Bo Williams and welcome to The 7. Let's get a look at the Big 7 stories right now. And topping the list for us tonight, Knoxville police have now arrested and charged a man accused of raping a woman inside the bathroom of the Market Street parking garage. This apparently happened around 2 p.m. Friday. Later that evening, Crime Stoppers put out these surveillance photos of the suspect, hoping to identify him. And this morning, 30-year-old Demetricus Hurst turned himself into the public safety complex. Now we're told he confessed to special crimes unit detectives that he sexually assaulted the 56-year-old woman. Hurst is charged with rape, aggravated kidnapping, and sexual battery. Next on our list for us, a big case moving from the streets to the courtroom. The man accused of shooting and wounding two Blunt County deputies arraigned in court today, Robert Millsaps, appearing in court for just five minutes. If you remember, Blunt County deputies were called to a home in the 1100 block of Jacob Springs Boulevard around 3.30 Tuesday for some type of domestic situation. According to BCSO, when officers arrived, Millsaps started firing toward officers. Two Blunt County deputies were shot in the leg. They were identified as Corbin Smith and Edward Walker. Both have since been released from the hospital. Millsaps appearing in an orange jumpsuit as the judge read his charges. The public defender's office will be appointed to represent you. And I think you've already been in communication with them, correct, sir? Yes, Your Honor. A preliminary hearing was scheduled for August 20th at 9 a.m. Next on the Big 7 for you, Sevierville Police hoping that you will have information to help them track down the three men that are still on the loose. Let's get you up to date. The department sharing these surveillance pictures and some information about how it all went down Sunday night around 1015 at the Clarion Point Hotel in the 1000 block of the Parkway. Witnesses telling investigators three men, one wearing a mask, came up to their SUV, pointing a gun at them and then telling them to get out. The three drove off. Eventually, the stolen SUV turned up abandoned near Crossville. Another clue here, Sevierville police say the three left the vehicle behind at the carjacking scene, a Jeep Cherokee that had apparently broken down. And we're told it's the same Jeep Pigeon Forge police have been looking for earlier in the day for speeding. Anyone with information, call the number on your screen, 865-453-1751. Next on the Big 7 video from a KPD cruiser showing a minivan smashing into the back of another police car. Take a look here for a moment. Uh, a scary scene, obviously. This was yesterday on 40 East near Alcoa Highway. Uh, somehow, though, no one was seriously hurt. Now, the officer whose car was hit and treated for minor injuries, the driver of the van was taken to the hospital to be checked out. That driver was cited for failure to maintain their lane and for not moving over to give room for emergency vehicles. Police say it's still not clear exactly what led to the crash. They say this is a reminder of the dangers first responders face on the roadside. And it's why it's important to follow the move over rule. Slow down and pay attention to the roadway. Next on the 7, the search for a suspect. Knoxville police looking for a suspect involved in a deadly stabbing that happened this morning. Happened on the 400 block of East Oldham Avenue. That's uh, just a few blocks away from the city's new public safety complex. Just before 9 this morning, officers responded to a home finding a woman who had been stabbed at least one time. The victim was taken to the hospital where she was pronounced dead. Knoxville police say the homicide unit detectives have strong leads, but a suspect has not been arrested or charged. Now, the investigation is ongoing. Of course, we're going to update you as we learn more. A new low-cost spay and neuter clinic has now been completed in Roan County. Take a look here. Uh, with the help of a group of inmates, the Roan County Sheriff's Office inmate work crew built the new clinic for the county's animal shelter, which sees a large volume of strays in need of procedures. Now, while the clinic will benefit the community and the animals that live there, it also helps prepare those incarcerated for a better future. Uh, the hopes is, is that they will be uh, fluent in all aspects of the construction trades, um, that they can just uh, they can go out and pour concrete or they can frame or they can do electrical work or plumbing or, or anything in the, in the building trades industry and, and actually have um, the capability and the knowledge to be able to go out and produce good work, good quality work and uh, a good wage. Shelter expects the clinic to be up and running in about a month's time. And our Big 7 list concludes tonight. The city of Knoxville providing an update on a proposal for sidewalks in North Knoxville to create a safer environment for cyclists and, of course, walkers. City posting on social media is the final state's, uh, stair, uh, 
it's the final steps really of a two and a half million dollar project to build 3,800 feet of sidewalk. The hope here is to have it complete by the end of summer along North and Old Broadway. Uh, back in 2021, City Council approved the budget for this project at 1.6 million for the same amount of sidewalk. We should point out here it was also expected to be completed in 2022, but two, two years later, and now the city is hoping for it to be complete within the next several months. We'll keep you posted.